You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, guys, we're going to be talking about President Donald J. Trump in this video, guys. President Trump was in the Houston area in Conroe, Texas, and he had some words that will not make the mainstream media very happy when it comes to protecting women's sports. And make no mistake about it, guys. Women's sports is under attack, under attack in the name of wokeness. As you guys know, University of Pennsylvania swimmer Leah slash Will Thomas is out there smashing records that belong to women. Leah Thomas is a biological man that competed on the college level, second team all Ivy League at the University of Pennsylvania. And the women on the team that I believe there's like 34 of them. They know they have no shot. They have been vocal about it and they're so afraid of the backlash that they have to come out anonymous. They won't even give their name because they are petrified of what could happen to them. And your mainstream media is doing nothing to protect women's sports. Nothing. So I'm actually going to use a mainstream media source here to show you guys how ridiculous all of this is. So let's go over here to NBCnews.com and air quotes news. I, I do mean that, by the way. It says here, Trump promises to ban transgender women from sports if reelected. The former president also specifically targeted Leah Thomas, a trans University of Pennsylvania swimmer. And guys, you know that the mainstream media, they hate Trump more than anything. Now. They don't care anything about protecting the women whatsoever. They don't. Biden doesn't. The mainstream media doesn't. NBC News, air quotes news. They don't care either. But let's read this. Some of this here. Former President Donald Trump said he would ban transgender women for from participating in women's sports nationwide if he were reelected president. Quote. We will ban men from participating in women's sports, Trump said during a rally in Conroe, Texas on Saturday. So ridiculous. He then criticized Leah Thomas, the trans University of Pennsylvania swimmer who sparked international debate last month after he broke multiple records at a meet in Ohio. Trump misgendered Thomas, referring to him by the wrong pronouns. Of course, you know, they care about that kind of stuff. And then falsely stated that Thomas broke an 11 year old swimming record by 38 seconds. Now, I don't have the clip here, but he was actually probably talking about how uh, Leah slash Will Thomas dominated a woman and beat this woman by 38 seconds. The woman had no shot whatsoever. NBC air quotes news. They don't care about that. I mean, we men have a biological advantage. That is just science. You know, the left is always talking about listen to the science. Obviously not. They want you to listen to the narrative. The narrative is all they care about. It says here, in reality, Thomas won the 1650 yard uh, freestyle at the Zippy Invitational in Ohio by 38 seconds. But he didn't set a record in that event. He broke uh, school and Ivy, Ivy League records in the 200-yard freestyle and 500-yard freestyle by smaller margins of a couple of seconds. Outsports reported that the distance by which Thomas won the race is the longest in the NCAA, but the race, race takes more than 15 uh, minutes for women to complete. You see, they're trying to protect Leah slash Will Thomas here. Trump also claimed that a trans woman whom, who he didn't name broke a 20-year-old uh, record in weightlifting it is unclear if this claim is true. He was probably talking about uh, the Olympian from uh, New Zealand. He could be. I'm not exactly sure. I'm talking about Laurel Hubbard. We've actually done videos on Laurel, Laurel Hubbard um, on his channel. Laurel Hubbard, I believe, is from New Zealand. And Laurel Hubbard, a biological man, and still really does look like a man in every way, shape and form, was breaking records down there. Laurel Hubbard took the place 
on the Olympic team that should have went to a woman. This is what he was probably referring to right here. OK, but you can see your dishonest news right here. They don't care anything about protecting women's sports. They don't like it. So in this this article here, you know, they're just trying to call Trump a liar. They're trying to uh, paint him in a negative light. But when Trump says he's going to do something, he usually does try to do it. Now, we're talking about politics here. You know, he can't uh, rule by decree. Unlike Mr. Biden, but another story, I digress. Says uh, Trump's language mirrored that of conservative officials in many states over the past few years. Last year, more than 30 states considered bills that would ban transgender student athletes from playing on sports teams that align with their gender identity. Ten states have enacted such measures so far this year. 17 states are considering similar bills. But here's the kicker, though, guys. NBC Air Quotes News is trying to protect the narrative here, but even they have in this article here. Check this out. It says, but when support for specific inclusive policies is broken down, trans inclusion on sports teams is less popular. A majority of Americans, 62 percent. Said trans athletes should be only only be allowed to play on sports teams that correspond with their gender assigned at birth, your birth gender. While 34 percent said they should be able to play on teams that match their gender identity. OK, you 34 percent of people. OK, you want to see a biological man that identifies as a woman in the octagon with a woman. Do you know that a woman could get killed in the octagon? What do you woke people have to say then? Thank God. I don't think it's actually happening yet, but we're on that path. We're on that path, guys. If this foolishness just continues. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Do you agree with President Trump that trans athletes should be banned, especially, you know, Trans women coming over and destroying women's sports. I believe folks, it needs to be outlawed. I completely agree with that. I 100% stand by what he said. But your mainstream media, they seem to see things a different way. They despise Trump so much, they don't even care about protecting women's sports whatsoever. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.